All right, joining us today on MSUEagles.com is the senior class for Moorhead State men's basketball here in 2012-2013. From right to left, Milton Chavis, Devon Atkinson, Khalil Owens, and Jason Holmes. We're going to chat with these guys briefly as they play their final game here at Johnson Arena on Wednesday evening uh, against Murray State. It should be a great contest. It was last year, and we're looking forward to it. We'll move up here, and we'll start with Milton Chavis. Milton, if there was one lesson that you learned from the coaching staff this year, um, you guys had Donnie Tindall and his assistants last year, originally brought you to Moorhead State. Sean Woods and his assistants have taken over here in 12 13. If there was one lesson that you learned, what would that be? Uh, never give up, because uh, I would I would never thought that I was going to be coming back here because I didn't plan to. So I'm just happy that I, I was given the opportunity to come back and play here. So that was special too. We'll move over to Devon Atkinson. Devon, you were a role player last year. You averaged about eight minutes a game. This year you lead the entire team in minutes played at just shy of 30 a contest. Tell us one area of your game that you think has improved, whether that's something from an X's and O's standpoint, possibly a leadership standpoint. Uh, the, the one that I think really was making my teammates better, just, just getting them involved and just letting them do what they know what to do best. We'll move over to Khalil Owens. Khalil, let's talk a little bit about practice. What part of practice do you enjoy the most, and, and what part of practice do you guys enjoy the least? What's the most fun out here, and, and what do you guys dread every day when you come to work? And you can be honest, you're a senior. Oh, I'm always honest. Um, <laughs> I'd probably say the best thing is, probably, it's probably the best, but most tiring, drill number three. You know, we get to get, get out there, get better, make each other better every day. And um, I'd probably say, the worst thing of practice is, well, at least in my opinion, is the lunges. <laughs> yeah, I hate the lunges. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. We'll now bring yeah, in I senior really Jason them. Holmes. And Jason, you guys have played a lot of really tough opponents and tough players this year. Is there one team or one individual that really sticks out as being somebody that was really tough to line up against? Um, you know, K Kentucky's got a lot of prospects. You know, Noel's going to be good. Minus injury, um, you know, up and down in the OVC, they got a lot of good guards, you know, bigs that play hard, and uh, it's a tough conference. Jason, if there was one message that you could deliver to the Moorhead State fans, you were at Mississippi Valley State with Coach Woods and his staff prior to transferring here for your senior campaign at Moorhead State. But your thoughts on the environment here at Moorhead State and the fan support you guys have received? Oh, it's it's something it's special. Uh, Everyone comes out. There's a lot of coverage. Um, there's a lot of support, too, which is good because the next few years, this is going to be a really good program. Let's move back to Khalil Owens now. And Khalil, at various points this year, you've done really well. Statistically, you've had some double-doubles. You've put up some points. You've pulled down a lot of rebounds. Tell us maybe one area of your game that you're most proud of or some, an area that you've improved from your junior year to your senior year. Uh, I would say the area. I'm most, I feel like I'm happy, I'm happy that, that, I, um, that I improved in was probably just on my, my conditioning part, you know, just probably um, putting a better effort into it because this is something I wanted this year, you know, last year it wasn't the best year for us, and um, well, I just feel like this year I just had to go harder than home. I'll move back to Devon Atkinson. Devon, you're the point guard, uh, starting position for the Eagles. Coach Woods has said, admittedly, he's the toughest on his point guards. Is anybody here? He was a point guard at the University of Kentucky. But just talk about kind of what you've learned from Coach Woods, um, specific to how a point guard should run the team and kind of the ups and downs of the season. But you guys seem to be headed the right direction here when it really counts at the end. Uh, that's a blessing to be playing for a point guard, a point guard coach. Uh, he pushed me through my ups and downs, uh, made me a better player. And I, I wouldn't change it for nothing. The opportunity he gave me and um, the way he pushed me, it just, it just made me a better player and made me make my teammates even better. We'll move back to Milton Chavis. Milton, you've played over 50 games as a Moorhead State Eagle, and roughly half of those have been here at Johnson Arena. But your thoughts on the environment and kind of the, the fan support that you guys have gotten the last couple of years? Um, I love the fans. Uh, they all, they all are good people. Uh, I'm just, I'm just glad that they, they were able to come out, and come show us some love. Even though I, I only been here two years, I, I really felt the love from the fans. So I really appreciate that. It's great. 
We'll stay with Milton. You guys are all working hard um, and progressing towards your academic degrees, which is very important in life in general. Um, all of you I know want to play basketball as long as you possibly can, but when you finally have to uh, take the, the sneakers off and, and go into the corporate world, thoughts on kind of your future and what you might be doing uh, after basketball? Uh, I, I really found a love like with fashion, so I, I want to like uh, do some things with that. Uh, I won't release what exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do some things. We've with seen that. some of your fashion statements throughout the season with your five colored socks and some of your interesting looking pants. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll tell the fans to keep an eye on you here in the near future. All right. Devon, thoughts about you um, in the future and what you might be getting into? What are you studying right now and have any specific goals or plans in mind right now? Uh, well, I'm going to be graduating with a university studies degree, but. Uh, I really like the communication side of things, so I think I'll probably go back to school once in a while, like, and get to take a degree in communications. Okay. The computer side of things. Okay. We'll move back to Khalil. Khalil, we've seen your humor. Is stand-up comedy in your future? What are your thoughts <laughs> about what you might be doing after college? No, none of that, none of that. Unless they offer me a big contract, that's about it. But, um, no, seriously, I um, I did the whole basketball thing up, and I had my shoes. I just probably get into following the family business, you know, you know, construction, you know, getting our construction business, you know, getting tours and stuff like that. And we'll move to Jason Holmes. Jason, we know that you've taken your academics very seriously and done a good job in the classroom, and we're real proud of everybody in the men's basketball program making, you know, uh, the minimum requirement at the, uh, at the end of the first semester. But kind of what, what's on the horizon for you down the road, or have you given it much thought um, at this point? Taking it day by day. But uh, I'm going to hang up my shoes when they tell me I can't play anymore. So that's the plan. Okay. All right. Well, we'll back the camera out here and show the four seniors one more time. We hope all Eagle fans will come out and support them against Murray State Wednesday evening here at Johnson Arena, 7 p.m. tip-off. And, guys, thanks for your time.